So we're here and... Well guys, I feel dumb. Um, I've been talking this whole time like an idiot and the camera has not been on. But now that we're here, I can see in the water, I can see the grass beds. We see some bait swimming around and the bait of choice that we're using here is a owner flashy swimmer with a uh, net bait baby pack of crawl. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here is uh, we have the sun and wind to our back, that's good. We're gonna get down this thing. If there's redfish, we're gonna pick them up. The grass beds here look good. They're definitely here. Let me get right up on the shoreline. I just think we would have busted a 12 inch or a 10 inch or something by now. You know what, dude, let, let's go ahead and let's just run up if we see diving bridge, we'll hammer them. All right, guys, this is what we're gonna do, because this just isn't, we can grind this out and I just don't think, I don't know, I just, something my bones tells me it's not gonna be awesome right now. I think that a trout we're biting here happened this morning and um, there may or may not be redfish here, but I do have family obligations, so I need to get back home and, and take care of those. But we'll also head up the lake real quick and just see if there's any diving birds and if there's anything going on. And we'll see what happens. Is if there are diving birds in the lake, we're gonna f***ing destroy them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have come here to the lake and we have found exactly what it is that we came looking for and that is a giant flock of diving seagulls and we're about to whip out our double rigs and get it on right now. If I don't catch these fish, I'll become a commentator <laughs> for fake wrestling. Alright, so now they're way over there. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's like the, the Dude, there's another people. flock over there's another flock over there. Okay, alright, bro. Check it out. This is what we're gonna do. Just put your rod down. I'm gonna pick this trolling motor up and we're just gonna haul balls over there. And then I'm just gonna rah, throw the trolling motor down and we're gonna get on them. And they're diving confidently, like at a spot. They're not just looking in the water, they're actually diving, so. Just keep an eye on the water. Tell me if you see a shrimp jump. Yeah, like right where they're hooked. You see, you saw one? Little skedaddles in the water. Little skedaddles in the water. All right, I'll go with that. All right, I'm, I'm on. Here we go. Oh, I feel these are good trout, man. Good fish coming in. Oh yeah, boy. These are the keeper specs we came looking for. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I got two on. No, I just got one. Seems like they're hitting ultraviolet the limit. So? No, I'm just kind of casting or retrieving. Ah, shoot. Ooh, man, that feels good. Here we go. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Got the double on. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. Guys and gals, the key is to cast right where you see that bird looking in the water. Because where that bird's looking is where there's a speckled trout coming up because it's, it's, it's gonna eat whatever it is that bird's looking at. What? Did you hook him in his butt? <laughs> oh. What? Nope. Oh man, that one feels good. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. No, it's just a keeper. I mean, this fish is definitely a keeper, but I'm not gonna be picky. They just need a keep right now. There you go. 
Oh yeah, double hookup. Triple hookup, or if you were doubled up. Look at that bay boat over there. You're like, go away. Nope, nope, nothing to see here. Watch that guy just bang a 90 degree turn. He says, I'm banging a right hand turn right now. Yes, sir. I'm going to grab them birds. At That's Adam Shields over there wrecking all those speckled trout. Oh, he came off way. Oh, we're so done. Nice. Ooh, and I'm just, oh, I hooked up while trying to film you. That would be my luck. Oh, dude, there's shrimp jumping right next to the boat. Like I've said before, moving with a purpose is the name of the game here. You get a gaff top on, flip them off. The time to catch fish is now. Eat Cheetos. Adam is just sitting here just jacking them left and right. <laughs> Eat food, take pictures, call your friends, whatever. Do that later. Another double. <laughs> you, you just literally, he's literally just catching fish two at a time, boys. Oh, yeah. Dude, is, uh, did the shrimp just jump behind the friggin' boat? I thought I heard shrimp jumping behind the boat, man. Dude, I mean, that's like three or four doubles in a row. Dude, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We might want to stop and count fish here. Let me go through these fish just real quick like. Yeah, this, this guy literally has shrimp whiskers just sticking out of his mouth. Look at that. I thought I was done, but then I heard flopping. There you go. Thanks, guys. That's a keeper. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. Dude, my bait was just chilling off the side of the boat. <laughs> and and I got bit. Guys, this, this is what I'm talking about. Lure color, uh, the brand of the hat you're wearing, uh, the, the day of the week, it doesn't matter. What matters is finding a good bite of speckled trout. Finding a good bite of fish. Fish that are eating up so much that they are literally coughing up shrimp. That's what you want to get on, all right? It's all about finding fish, and finding fish is the name of the game of all the courses in LAFB Elite. There we go, all right, got one on. Need my second one. Need my second one. Where's my second one? Oh, I think I feel the second one. Oh my gosh. He was on. He was. That's a keeper, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, I saw this shrimp jumping right on it. All right. Hooked up. I made with the double this time. Oh, it's a double. It's a double. Now, whether they're keepers or not remains to be determined. Oh, yeah, baby. And I think they both are... He's a keeper. Sure. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I think we should just do a fish count. All together. Yeah, figure out because I don't want to jinx it, but I, I'm pretty sure we're close to fifty. Definite keeper. Uh, close but no cigar. This one's gonna keep. I can feel it. Feel it. Oh yeah. Yep. This one should also keep. There we go. Wait, where am I? 14. Over the two. Yeah, you're there. I'm gonna cast around too. 45. We have 45 trout. 45. We have to catch five more. I don't care who you are. Anybody loves catching 50 speckled trout. If you love catching 50 speckled trout, I want to know, post it in the comments below. Say, I love catching 50 speckled trout. Or if you don't like catching 50 speckled trout, which I recommend you don't post anything in the comments and you just go 
get your head checked, but yeah, go post that in the comments too. Well, whatever, man. <laughs> if you don't, what do you like hatching then? <laughs> your bait or that trolling motor? <laughs> no, dude. Oh. What are you doing, Mr. Pelican? What are you doing here? No, I. What? Buddy, are you that hungry? Man, ooh, yeah, that feels good. That's a double. Or it's a gaff top. I don't know, I might go with gaff top on this one. Yeah, well, hang on, I'm, I'm too busy screwing around the gaff top right now. Oh, come on, man. <gasps> no, but there's a speckled trout attached to him. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta save the trout, Adam. Get the trout. <laughs> oh, no, go away. No, 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 uh Nope, not for you, not for oh you. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, get back. No. Crazy pelican. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Is that cat, is that try to keep her? Just look at him real quick. Not a keeper. All right. pelican is a nut. He, like, wants the gaff top. No, he will not have this gaff top. Jesus. I see it, I see it, I see it. Yep. Boom. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, these are trout. They're trout. I think it's a gaff top, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the way it's just running towards the boat, it's, like, it's got to be a gaff top. And we're doing the pelican again. We're going to do the pelican thing again. And we're going to do the trash fish thing again. <sighs> Oh, dude, no, but there's a trout on. Oh, of course there's gonna be a freaking trout attached to him. Ah, no, 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 no. All right, yeah, you have fun with that freaking gaff top, bud. I don't know, but it, it was totally worth almost getting bit by a pelican. Where's that flipper? There we go. Dude, listen, Mr. Pelican, I really don't want to untangle you or unhook you. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, he went and did it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Dude. Are you serious? Yeah, come here, buddy. This is what I was talking about. About to use a flipper on a freaking oh, pelican. I think it's double keepers. Here we go. Now get out. I just unhooked a pelican like a boss. <laughs> All right, let me, let me take a look real quick. Uh, no, no, my fish is nowhere close to being a keeper. This is definitely a keeper, I can tell just by looking at it. We're gonna double check and how long is he? 14 inches, boy, what's up? Yeah, he's 12. And he's still here! Go away, Pelican. Here comes Mr. Pelican, dude, watch him. Literally had that one bait dangling over the side. And, that's what he's doing. and then he hissed at you. Yeah, he didn't hissed at you. What a dick. <laughs> All right, so how many more trout do we need to catch now? 48 in the boat. I want to go home and tell Heather we caught a limit. She would absolutely be so happy. Did you see that? Dude, did see dude, that? did he murk it right there at the he, side of the boat? As I was picking it up out of the water. What? That was the most. That's 49. Thing. That's 40. <laughs> yeah, dude. That trout went straight to the danger zone. That was a hook set flip into the boat. Okay, one more. Gosh, one more fish. I hate this. Literally one more fish. I'll die before I leave this lake. <laughs> How long will trout number 50 be? Who's going to catch it? My anxiety's peaking. Big old dum dum. Dum 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 the pelican. Oh dum dum. Hey, released over twenty. The one that was released over twenty is actually number fifty. He was number one and is also. You're right. So we did technically catch fifty. There's forty nine in the box. I didn't count the one that we threw back. That was twenty one inches. Okay, so we did catch 50. Did catch 50. The one that almost hit Dum Dum in the face. When I was <laughs> yeah, that's a fish had a death wish, dude. I'll go with 50. I mean, we caught 50. We let one go. That's a nice one. That one counts as like five. Good job, man. You too. Yeah. Good trip. See what speckled trout fishing does to you? It's crazy.
We should get our heads checked. Anyway, so, uh, uh, what's this thing doing? Well, it's just full. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm done with it anyway. <laughs> Uh, we did a little moving around, we fished some grass beds, there's some suspending baits, double rigs on a light jig head. Light jig has definitely worked out. And then once that tie started falling really good, we decided, hey, we're gonna go take a ride around and uh, check some other grass beds and also check some of those main tidal highways we like to fish. I have an entire course that's free, it doesn't matter if you're a member of LAFB Elite or not, called Fall Fish Location. And it's all about locating speckled trout and redfish based upon the predominant conditions that we experience during fall. So if you want to check that out, just go to LAFBElite.com, click on courses, and you'll see fall fish location, or check for a link in the video description below. I'll have one there ready to rock and roll for you. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, please give it a thumbs up and tell us what it is you liked about it in the comments below. But above all, if you would like to be notified of the next one, when it goes live, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Tight lines and thanks for watching. That's a wrap. You know what time it is? Beer 30! Ah! I caught a living trap! It's cool, dude. Just chill on my boat. He pooped on my boat. He pooped on the boat. He, he doo dooed on it. What? Dum dum, why did you do that? You're the world's worst pet pelican. <laughs>